Hey everyone, it's Emily Hayes from Keller Williams South Valley Realty and Emily Hayes Homes. November 6th, the elections are coming up, the midterm elections. I love and very passionate about real estate, but I am also very, very passionate about local politics. Now, I did not get into this until recently. And to be honest, this is the very first year where I've actually taken the time to really, really research the candidates on my ballot and understand um, what the different positions were and how they impact our lives. And so I wanted to share a little bit about what I've learned with you as far as um, why it's so important to be involved on a local level and how those decisions actually do affect our lives as homeowners um, and as in the real estate world. So um, there are several different positions that you're gonna have on your ballot this year. I am gonna put down a resource below this video. Um, it's a link to your sample ballot. That's where you can go in and it's really cool with the age of the internet and what they've done with the sample ballot is you can click in and you can read the profiles of every single person that is on your ballot, including judges, including all the county positions. You can click into their profile, read about them, go to their website, but even taking it a step further, what I would recommend and something that I have been doing is actually personally reaching out to the candidates and asking them questions that are important to me. Um, we live in a very small, even though Salt Lake City or Utah has 3 million people, it's a very small community and people are very accessible. So never be intimidated to reach out because remember, these politicians work for us. We pay their salaries and a lot of them are just very approachable and very easy to talk to and they definitely want to help answer any questions they can for you. So utilize that information on your sample ballot to get the contact information of those people. Another thing you might wanna do is reach out to people you know um, that are more involved in different areas like law enforcement, like working on the county level, different, play, um, different uh, people that you might know in those areas and you can ask them their opinions because they might work with these people and they might really have some more insider information that can help you make a better decision. Um, so why is local voting important? Um, local voting is important because on a local level, those decisions make a much bigger impact in our daily lives. For example, our county council is the one that actually creates the property taxes for Utah County. So the rate that we pay property taxes is voted on by our county council and our mayor. So Obviously, that's a very important thing for a homeowner because we want to make sure that A, we're being with property taxes, we're funding our schools if that side's important to you, or if it's more important to you to have lower taxes, then that's the things you need to ask when you're um, voting in those positions and ask what their positions are on you know, keeping the taxes low. Um, other things are um, in the, even on the local positions in like your city council levels or your mayor levels, they have the ability for zoning laws, and zoning laws are huge. Now, Salt Lake County, or Salt Lake City, just created some zoning laws that allow accessory apartments, um, mother-in-law apartments on a piece of land. So you can actually have two pieces of property on one piece of land. Um, this is a really, really awesome, awesome way for us to deal with the affordable housing issue, for people to be able to bring in more income, to be able to bring in, let's say you have a parent or sibling or a child that you want to have um, help out and you can build an accessory apartment onto your current home or on your property. And a lot of cities do not allow that. So there are, a, well, and roads, and there's a lot of different things that affect our daily lives, and that's why it's so, so important for people to be engaged in voting. Now, you might be engaged, but maybe you know somebody who's not. So I recommend reaching out to your family members if you have kids, if you have siblings, and maybe sharing this video or just talking to them one-on-one -on -one and letting them know how important these issues are and letting them know that even though on a national level we can all feel like we have no say in anything and things are just happening to us, but we have an extremely lo a lot of impact on a local level. We have our own state government, our own state representatives, we have our own state senators, and those are people we can actually reach out to as well. Recently, I reached out to my um, local state congressional woman and she had me over to her house to talk about my concerns and that's how accessible our representatives are here. So, 
If you need um, any ideas on resources, please click on the link below. That's gonna give you all the information you need to know about your ballots. Um, and I am just really excited that people are getting more engaged and I'm really excited that I have more power now knowing that I can vote for people that are gonna make a direct impact on my life, my, on my life and that we have a lot of say in how local government is run. So let's get involved. Um, even if you wanna have a party for your family and just sit down and go through your mail-in ballots together and pick out the different candidates and talk through the candidates and research the candidates, it can be re something really fun you can do with your family or friends. If you guys ever have any questions on anything real estate related, I'm always here to help and I just encourage everyone to get out and vote. Thanks so much.